Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm using this mason jar shelf sitter from Dollar Tree and rub-on transfers from Amazon. I started by removing the twine bow from the mason jar as well as the paper. Once I had the paper removed, I just added a damp paper towel to the top of it, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then I remove it and sand off any of that excess paper that is left on there. Once I have it all sanded down and I wait for it to dry, I take sandstone chalk paint by Waverly and paint the entire thing with two coats. Once that is completely dry, I take the transfers and just hold it up to the mason jar to see where I need to cut, remove the excess. And then I trim up pieces that I don't want on there. Again, just check my placement, remove the backing from the transfer and place it down. And then just rub it on there gently and then take a craft stick and rub all over the transfer to get that to stick to the mason jar. And I do go ahead and wrap the transfer along the side so that image will be wrapped around on the side as well. And then once I have it all applied, I remove the front part from that and then cut off another piece of that same transfer to just place in that empty space where I had removed a piece I didn't want on there. And just place that one over that empty spot and the rest of the transfer and do the same thing with the craft stick and then peel the front off of that. I then take the craft stick that I had originally used for the transfer and I'll be adding that on the front as a lid. I hold that up along the top of the mason jar just to get where I need to make my cut. Cut the end of the craft stick off and use that piece to get my shape and outline and trace that out onto that stick and cut it with some Fisker shears. Then sand the edge to get it nice and round and then use home decor wax by Folk Art and brush that on and blend it with a baby wipe. And when then once that's dry, I take that and hot glue it to the top for the lid. And then take some twine, leaving it long and then wrapping it around a few times and then tying it off to the side in a little bow. Next, I take this wooden pedestal piece I got from Hobby Lobby and hot glue the bottom of that to an oval piece that I also got from Hobby Lobby. And then I paint the entire thing with ivory color chalk paint, and that's by Waverly. I give that one coat, dry it completely, and then go around and sand the whole thing to give it a bit of distressing. Next, I put some hot glue on the top of that pedestal piece and then place down the mason jar, getting it centered on that bottom piece. And that is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.